Hi there, I'm David, and this is Charlie, and together we're going to walk you through the unboxing and the toilet training process for the City Kitty toilet training system. Let's get started. So this is the City Kitty system. This is what comes in the mail when you order it. I got mine from Amazon. I paid for overnight shipping, so altogether it was about 50 bucks or so. Let's open it up and see what's inside. There's not a whole lot in here. Pretty easy to uncover. You get an instruction manual, catnip, and the training seat. This goes over the toilet. There's also a second insert. Part of the system is you cut out a bigger and bigger hole in this part that goes over the toilet. And if your cat goes backwards in progress, there's no way to re-add the piece that you cut out. That's where this comes in. You'd sit this hole insert in, go back to where you were before, go backwards a step until your cat's more comfortable with it. So let's go through the different steps that they recommend in the instruction manual to prep your bathroom. Preparing your bathroom. First, the instructions say, secure your toilet lid with a piece of adhesive tape to ensure that your cat will always have access to the toilet and a guest won't close the lid accidentally. Well, once in a while, tape will fail. So what I've done is completely removed mine. Place a cat toilet training in progress sign on your bathroom so guests know that you're toilet training your cat. Check. Keep a small trash can, kitty litter, and a scoop nearby, but out of your cat's reach, for easy and quick cleaning of the training seat. For our litter, we've chosen a brand called Sweet Scoop. It's made from wheat products, and it's all natural and biodegradable. So we don't necessarily have to scoop litter into the trash. We can scoop it right into the toilet and flush away. This will be helpful later when we start to cut out the center of the toilet seat. That way, if some litter gets into the water, it's not going to clog up our pipes. This was the brand that was recommended by the professionals at PetSmart. And they told us that it would work with city sewer water or septic systems. Remove the area rugs from your bathroom so you can easily keep the bathroom clean and neat while the training is in progress. You can return the rugs when training is finished. I guess this is so that the cat doesn't have a different place to go other than the litter on the toilet training seat. I suppose if I were a cat and uncomfortable with the training, I'd aim for a carpet. But if there's no carpet around, I guess I'd have to settle for the training seat. The last step says, Close the doors to the nearby rooms in your home, including spare bedrooms and basements. This enables you to stay close by your cat's side and see how he or she is adapting to the training. I've made a slight modification to this because most of the doors in our house stay closed most of the time, but the bathroom we're training in is far away from the living room and I want to be able to know when she's in and out of the bathroom. So here's what I came up with. At the upper portion of my door, I've taped in a small piece of wood to make sure the door doesn't fully close. But I've also secured a bell so that when she pries it open from the bottom, the bell will ring. And I'll be able to come and give her love and affection for doing a good job on the toilet seat. My cat tried to eat some of the kitty litter out of the pan as she was investigating. 
in our case, this is okay because the litter itself is made from wheat. It's completely biodegradable and edible. We've had a bit of a setback with the City Kitty system. The last time we checked in, the City Kitty pa pallet was up on the toilet and she was ready to get up there and walk around, but she wasn't leaving any solid waste in the box. Well, after about 36 hours, I came home from work to find solid waste, but I found it on the comforter on the bed. She had not used the City Kitty system yet. So, I moved it down to the floor, off the toilet, to see if that would do the trick. And it's been about a week. She's been using it pretty regularly. We haven't had any accidents yet. So, now it's the next weekend. It's time to move the City Kitty plate back up into the toilet with the litter in it and see if she'll use it now. Let's hope she gets the picture. Alright, it's been about a week. We've had no problems, we've had no accidents. The City Kitty system is working pretty well. She's using it at a high level. Now it's time to cut out the first hole in the City Kitty seat and then refill it with litter and reintroduce Charlie and see how she reacts. Let's get started. Okay, what I've got here is a little craft style exacto knife. So it's got a small blade on it. This ought to be doing a pretty good job cutting through this material. Uh, there are little perforated lines here that we need to follow. So let's give that a try. There we go. There's piece number one. So now we fill it. We put it back on the toilet. We reintroduce the cat and see how she does with success. Alright, now we're underway. We'll give it another week and see how she does. After another week's worth of success, it's time to make the hole even bigger. Let's see how she does. So we started with the City Kitty system in July, and it is now mid-October, and we've been going at it for a long time. She did that first seven weeks without too much trouble at all, and after we were done, she had a couple of setbacks here and there. Once in a while, 
she didn't want to go in the bathroom she wanted to go on the comforter or go on the carpet but you take those mistakes and you take those setbacks and you take them in stride and you don't try to get too hard on the cat because she's just a cat she's just trying to do what she thinks is best anyway she did a great job uh, we're continuing on with not having to scoop litter anymore not having to bag waste anymore my house doesn't smell anymore I'm really really happy with the city kitty product I hope you guys can follow this tutorial and uh, I hope a little bit of guidance that we've done is going to help you along your journey as well. So good luck and I look forward to any questions or thoughts down in the comments section. Thanks very much for watching.